Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. This is a second video in our financial analysis series. We're going to analyze financial model red flags, and here we're going to focus on unit economics, some KPIs, and growth assumptions. So specifically, we're going to look at the revenue contribution and profitability of each revenue stream, the cost of acquisition, average revenue per user or unit, whatever makes sense for your business, marketing budget over sales, ending or total number of users, and user lifetime value. Okay, let's look at the second financial analysis video for the red flags. So revenue EBIT margin. So what we want to make sure here is that, uh, that it's increasing. This is the ideal scenario uh, or increasing, you know, maybe not so much. Um, but mainly that you stay competitive with your peers. So if this is a technology company, uh, this um, company in row three is a red flag because their EBIT margin is too low. If this was a food company, it would be okay. So without knowing any information, of course, we can't say that it's a red flag for sure, but it's definitely something to look at for most startups. Uh, now, in terms of the revenue contribution, what you want to make sure here is that... Um, the company uh, gets the money the way that you see it gets in the money, right? So the revenue streams that you envision as money makers, that's where you're getting the money. And the ones that are not so important or that lose importance over time, this is what you see in financial projections as well, right? So in revenue contribution, you see right where your profitability comes from. Now, cost of acquisition. Uh, what you want to make sure is what's happening in row 11, where your cost of acquisition decreases over time, okay? And when this is not the pattern that you see where it starts to increase or where it um, decreases and then increases, this is not the behavior that you want to see. So you need to really look at your uh, marketing strategy assumptions to see why that is happening. Um, for the customer lifetime value, of course, you want to see there's some stable numbers or increasing numbers, which you don't want to see is decreasing numbers, right? And then, uh, of course, those scenarios um, will result in businesses not really being sustainable, right? Which is what you see in the calculation when you subtract cost of acquisition from customer lifetime value, right? You see a negative numbers for uh, uh, the third scenario. Now, that's not necessarily why, um, you know, they're negative. They're negative because uh, the cost of acquisition approaches the customer lifetime value, but another red flag that the customer lifetime value also decreases, right? So there's actually two different types of flags here, right? So the cost of acquisition is uh, higher than the customer lifetime value, but also customer lifetime values behavior over time is questionable as well. With the average revenue per user, you want to see similar behavior to customer lifetime value. You want to see it increasing, right? You don't want to see it increasing and then decreasing, right? That would be a red flag. Now, marketing budget per sales, the rule of thumb is it's about in a steady state 20% of sales. So anytime you see something which is too high or too low, this is uh, a way to look at your business again and see if you're really getting the return on capital that you should. With the ending and total number of users, what you want to make sure that, that of course, they're increasing. So what you don't want to see is that they're decreasing like here or if they're increasing too much, right? You don't want to be too aggressive. And this is the same thing happening whether you're looking at the ending number of users, if you have subscriptions or you have the total number of customers on your site. It will be a similar type of calculation. And there we go. If you like this video, please comment below, share with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe to the Startup Station's YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn how to model early stage ventures, we have a free masterclass. The link is in the description. Please go there, sign up, and learn how to model your venture in a way that's credible to investors. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.